Hello, welcome back. European qualification is in touching distance, but it's not all going our own way. Welcome to Be A Legend. Hello and welcome to episode 69 of To Be A Legend. My name is Mark and on today's episode we have two Premier League games for you. Both at home, first of all against Derby and then uh, we play West Brom. You will see we are still fifth in the table. 52 points, 7 points clear of Brighton who are in 6th place. Everton in 7th at 43 points. Uh, but we are now 8 points adrift of Manchester City, albeit they have played one game more than us. Um, having played recently, I'm not quite sure what uh, what the score line was in that one. We can probably find out, actually. Can we go in here and find out? Uh, if we go back a little stage. Um, obviously, we've been in international things. Yes, Manchester City there beat Arsenal 2-0. Um, that was the game in hand, I think. And I'm not quite sure what they're playing because we were interna in a, an international uh, break. Uh, right, so having told you all of that, what's been happening since you were last with us? Well, as I say, it's not been going particularly well. Last time out, 5-3 loss in the FA Cup uh, to Manchester United. 2-2 draw against Norwich. We beat Leeds 2-1 with a late goal from Josh Blakesley on 90 minutes, or well, four minutes into injury time at the end of the game. Uh, it was 1-1. They equalised after 84. Looked like it was going to be a 1-1 draw, but then... Uh, Josh Blakesley popped up and put this one away. We'll get to have a quick look at the goal for you. Hopefully. Yep, it's loading up. And here we go. Gattisis, who had come on as a substitute, crosses in. Goalkeeper mistake. Puts it right into the path of Blakesley, and Blakesley put it away. And that was a win, but only just. So we are... Where we were doing really, really well, we seem to be lagging behind, as you'll see on the XG here. We didn't have a good game. Um, and that corresponded into the game against Brighton um, after the international break. Uh, a disallowed goal from Josh Blakesley on 43 was well offside, to be fair. It looked like a nil-nil until Rogers, who I think did for us. We'll need to check in a minute. But I think did for us in the last... Uh, game that we pl played against um, Brighton and it's not going to show me the goals here yes it is it's been very slow and you see punted out by their goalkeeper and uh, Rogers got the better of Kovar on that occasion and 93 minutes into the game we weren't coming back from that um, right, I just need to check. We lost to Brighton earlier in the season. No, we didn't. We drew with Brighton earlier in the season. Why don't I think we lost to Brighton? And it was Solanke who uh, who actually scored against us last time. So uh, I got all that all that information completely and utterly wrong. I think Rogers did he not used to play for Bristol City when we were in the lower divisions and did for us down there. Anyway, doesn't really matter. Uh, on to today's episode then. Um, we have uh, Derby County at home, West Brom at home. Two games on the uh, on the bounce. Uh, but just before that, I've just remembered, we have had one other thing go on. We have um, completed the sign of Emmanuel uh, Avila. Um, he is a midfielder, can uh, play deep in midfield. He can play on any of those uh, roles. He can play left attacking can play central uh, midfield attacking and also play in these positions so extremely good as you see an 88 uh, on the uh, thing he's got a four star current ability four and a half to five star potential ability um, better than Aaron Henry better than Bobby Carroll um, so he will be coming in but not until the end of the season so he joins us on uh, the 9th of June I think it is uh, 15.25 million pounds um, that's what we negotiated for him or at least my uh, assistant manager did 
Uh, players coming back from um, injury, Lasala, Stewart and Kenlock. Stewart can only play 60 minutes. Kenlock only 45 minutes if indeed they play. Right, with all that said and done, let's go through to the first game then against Derby. And here is the team that we're putting out against Derby. Kovar in goal, Robson, Gomez, Burns and Lasala. And that is because Froggett is uh, suspended for two matches. So you won't see him on today's uh, uh, game. Uh, Flores and Carroll up uh, on the midfield. Montondo, Haggy and Blakesley are our attacking midfield. Stewart is back up front. Um He's back up front, and uh, then we have Blakesley better as an inside forward. I think he is. That's where that goes, because uh, it's only Pike that doesn't quite uh, thing out. McGill, Good Johnson, Dalabasharu, Gattasis, Taylor, Walker, and Pike are our bench for today's game. Let's hope for a... <clears throat> So Stuart could, may only play uh, for about 60 minutes, but um, we'll, we'll play him because we've not been playing extremely well without him. Um, but it's great to have him back. All right. Um, pump fist. We should win this one fairly comfortably. comfortably. Um Faith in you. Go out there and do. He's not doing any of that. Uh, Wednesday's match sees you up against Derby County's newly appointed manager, Ismail, ahead of the match. How do you feel about chances? I think he's a terrific hire for them. I'm expecting a tough game on Wednesday. Um, Bobby Carroll takes up. You know, what do you see him? him as a leader? He's a natural choice under the circumstances. And so, game underway. Like Derby breaking out. Burns there. Lasala. Lasala to Blakesley. Blakesley around his man. And he's on a bit of a move now. Goes out wide for Lasala. Lasala gets the cross in to Stuart. Uh, yeah. Stuart. Huggy with the goal. Fourth goal of the season. Nine minutes, ten minutes on the clock, as it will be the goal time. And. Uh, Lasala, Leighton Stewart, back to Lasala, finds Haggy in plenty of space, and Haggy puts the goal away, and we go a goal up. Lofted ball, Burns takes it down to Gomez. Gomez back to the goalkeeper, Robson, Montondo, via Flores. Uh, he's tackled, but Carroll's there, who's picked up a yellow card, I notice. Blakesley, back to Carroll. Haggy, Carroll. Gentle build up here, and he's going to get tackled. Haggy. Haggy goes out wide looking for, I'm not sure who he was looking for, but uh, didn't quite find him. Kovar to Burns. Carroll, Haggy, and he's lost the ball. But Carroll's mopping up, and again they've lost it, and this time Gilroy gets around him. Kovar's come out, and narrows the angle and it hits the side net in bit too casual that Just trying to find Blakesley but didn't find him and then a mistake by Burns Nathan Burns lets Gilroy in this time not doing any damage but we don't need to do that too often all pretty even shots and shots on target Nathan, uh, Finley, sorry, Nathan Burns. Finley Burns, he's, um, he's picked up a yellow card now as well. Robson with the throw into Haggy. Haggy tries to find Flores but gives it away. Lasala picks it up. Carroll 
back to La Sala. Sala now goes out wide to Robson, who was out there but not moving. Flores, he's cut inside his man. Can he get the ball in? He's cut it back for Carroll, who has a shot, and it's just a bit over the top of the bar there. Looks like half time's going to come. We are that one goal in the lead, that uh, goal from Haggy after 10 minutes. We did get back into that in the second uh, in the second part of that first half. Uh, currently six shots, three on target, 0.81 against their four shots, two on target, 0.29. 54% possession. Need to make sure that we get at least one more goal because... They, uh, they, we haven't done away with them yet. We need to, uh, we need to be more clinical in the second half. Be right back. And you come back and join us as we get the second uh, half underway. Leighton Stewart passing it back to Gomez. No changes at half time. And uh, as I say, we're looking for this second goal just to calm things down a little bit. Now, I'm wondering whether do we just tweak it slightly? I'm thinking Shadow Striker. Just going to change that for now. See if we can put a bit more pressure on them. 70 minutes gone. Stuart, I think, really needs, should come off now. Um, Haggy's tired, so we're going to swap him for Gattasis, which is our usual switch. I think Gattasis ought to get some uh, game time, really. Josh Blakesley not doing much out on the right, um, but I think we are going to do a bit of a change round. Blakesley complete. Um, Lane Stewart. For, for Zach Pike. Pike is best as a winger on attack. Those are our changes for the minute. So we change it up a bit and see if that does any good. Montondo is tired now. I am tempted to do that change while we've stopped. Matondo. And it looks like Walker. And no, undo. Montondo will have to stay out there because we don't have a left sided player albeit Robson is there anyway let's play this through Gomez to Kovar Kovar to Burns Flores Gomez back to Kovar gets it forward and's given it away they have a Gomez as well but Kovar equal to that this time we have a corner. Blakesley taking the corner. Curls it in. It's cleared up field and they're going to get to it. Tackle goes in. And they're on the counter. Oh, no, 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 no. Kovar equal to it this time. Right. Let's have a look at this tactical change. Montondo is tired out there. So is Carroll now in midfield and Lasala. Robson can move forward into... And then if we swap these two over, what happens? Walker's not the best person in that spot of space. What about if I move him forward? Hmm. 
not convinced let's change it back really not convinced by that have we got a defender central defender harry taylor so we could move gomez out there right move robson forward let's swap him with montondo move gomez out there and then what we'll do is we'll take gomez off oh sorry montondo off for harry taylor Faith that you go out there and make a difference. And I can't at the moment because we're getting the highlight again. Really should have been punished here and probably would have done by lesser sides. Right. We are going to drop a bit of praise. And drop to a balanced mentality. This has kicked us in the teeth before. I'm tempted to say positive, actually. Carroll wins that ball, but it's given away. Kovar tidies up. Don't give the ball away, Kovar. He's thrown it out to Harry Taylor. Harry Taylor, back to Kovar. To Pike. Not seen much of him since he's been on Robson now, who's got forward a little bit. He's got it out to Pike again, who meets his man. Pike has, ooh, going for that far post and missed it. Not by much, but he did miss it. And Alex Armstrong, we need to press. They have a throw in, deep in injury time. We know we've been succumbed to these of late. Gomez heads it clear. Robson is going to pick that up. Gets it through to Blakesley. Blakesley has gone out wide and loses the ball. And are they going to come back on a counter now? Hopefully not. Gomez gets up and heads it back down to Robson. Robson is tackled and loses the ball. We're in the last minute, but danger is afoot. Clark, and he scored. It's happened again. It keeps happening to us. We can't kill a game off at all. This is rubbish. We seem to have lost our way. Get that nose in front, not get a second goal. And I just don't know what to say. It's game over. Deary me. Thrown away in the last minute. I say unlucky boys. I don't think that was... Um... Yeah, that's the sort of match we should be winning. Josh Bakesley, disappointed in you. Not impressed at all. Haggy had a good game. Pleased with how you did tonight. Uh, Finley Burns, pleased how you did. Lasala, pleased how you did. And that is about the sum total of it. The rest of you, very poor. Um... No simple light for light change for Blakesley. So disappointing. Seven points adrift of Manchester City now. And uh, Brighton have, having beaten West Ham by a goal to nil. Rogers scoring again. Deep in the game, 83 minutes this time. Um, they are catching us. They are now just uh, five points behind us. So we need to be very careful. We need to win a couple more games, really, to keep up base. Six games left. Um, but I think we are now pretty much safe. Uh, safe? Uh, 
How many games left? 38, six games left, yes. So um, just a couple more games and we'll be uh, qualifying for that uh, European uh, qualification. Right, we will be right back with the second game of the episode, which will be against West Bromwich Albion, currently languishing down in 16th place. And if we can't beat them, I don't really know what to say. And you come back uh, for the second game of the episode against West Bromwich Albion. And the team looks a bit more like this. Froggett back. Um, I didn't think he was back. I thought he was suspended for two games. But obviously he was suspended a little bit earlier than I thought he was. Uh, Kovar in goal. Gomez, Froggett, Burns and Lasalia. So we have the full complement in defence. Flores and Carroll up in midfield. Uh, good working partnership there as you can see. Mand, Matundo. Haggy and Blakesley as our attacking midfield with Stewart uh, up front on the bench. McGill, Good Johnson, Thomas, Gattasis, Head, Robson and Pike. We did say, did we not, on the last match, and we're going to do it, is we're going to put Gattasis in that position. It's probably better as a shadow striker, but I'm going to put him there as an attacking midfield for now because that fits with the... Uh, what do we put him as? No, let's put him... No. Let's put him... He's got to have him as attacking there we'll do that um lasala's not 100 percent fit but he should be okay bournemouth want finley burns he's one yellow card away from a band so Leighton stewart can play for 75 minutes so i think we're all good that's the team that is going out <clears throat> in this match two changes from the last match uh, nathan froggett back for clive uh, robson and gattis for haggy as we know. To be fair to Robson, he has um, been playing reasonably well. He's on the bench, so uh, he's not out and out. Um, I don't know if I did. I finish going through the uh, substitutes. We'll do them again. McGill, Good Johnson, Thomas, Haggy, Head, Robson and Pike. I don't think I did. It certainly doesn't ring a bell. Started to, I think, and then decided to swap uh, Haggy for Gattis's. That's what comes of doing things uh, on a whim there. Right. Um, we're favourites for a reason. Um, how can we say that? Can we say that? Pump our fists. Hands in pockets. Really didn't have too much of an effect. Zach Pike's been tipped to be in for a shout of being named English Players Player of the Year. How do you rate his chances? Um, he's been impressive and deserves to be in the discussion. As West Brom are the lowest goal scorers in the Premier League, uh, you must consider Charlton's favourite to win. I've told the players that this is a chance for them to go out and make a real statement to everyone about uh, everyone else about how good we can be. Famous last words. We know that we uh, get picked off in the final minute, so we need to make sure we put this one to bed. Early doors. Certainly heard the early part, early skirmishes. And they're picking up yellow cards. Half an hour comes. They have matched us up, I, uh, I can see. Let's encourage the team. No highlights in this first half at all. And we get to half time. Not a single highlight. That's unusual, I feel sure. Uh, right, half time then six shots, three on target, a 0.39 on the XG, 47% uh, possession. They've had four shots, two on target, 0.34 with a 53%. So we were sort of like doing reasonably well, and then they've come back in in the last sort of. 15, 20 minutes. We need to watch them in the second half. We'll be right back for that said second half. And you come back. No changes made at half time. Leighton Stewart getting us on the way. That might be the only highlight you see of the whole game if it goes the way it did in the first half. Oh no, we have got a highlight. Gomez to Flores. Back to Gomez. Gattasis gets it into the area. Leighton Stewart has two bites of the cherry, but uh, the second one was very, very tame. 
It's a clear cut chance, and we're going to see it again. Gattasis getting in. First shot was blocked by Leighton Stewart. Then he got it on his right foot, and it was poor. They have a throw in now. Blakesley in attendance to Reese. And. Uh, Gomez heads it down to Matondo. Matondo back to Gattasis. Sorry, G uh, Gomez. Gattasis in and he's had a shot which has gone wide. Is this going to be another game where we rue our chances missed? Cleared upfield. Leighton Stewart. He's been tackled. They come forward and moving the ball around nicely, trying to find a gap, which is worryingly. They found it and a shot from distance hit the post. It's gone in. It's come off of, I don't know if somebody got there. Suarez got there. Uh, he's been checked for an offside. So we're hopeful that it is disallowed, thankfully. Um, yeah, he's offside there, actually, when the ball comes through. He's uh, hit the post, and I'm not sure if it's come off the back of somebody. Um, Blakesy with the corner, then. He's headed in. Finley Burns gets his third goal of the season. All come from corners, I think, but we've actually broken the deadlock at the rally. And now we've got to try and kill it off. Second goal or or we need to waste a bit of time. Right. Man mark rice. Uh, rice. A bit of time. Tight marking. We've got nobody pressing on these guys here. I'm thinking we're going to press in. Suarez. Might even do it for Rice as well, right? Game on the way again. I'm not going to drop encouragement because we know where everything goes wrong when that happens. Right, they're coming out from the back then. Long ball forward, but Froggett cuts that out to Gomez. Flores. It's been tackled, but Matondo tidies up. Gomez to Carroll. Froggett. Flores. Flores finds Blakes. He heads it into Leighton Stewart, and Leighton Stewart couldn't quite get there. The defender getting ahead to it. Leighton Stewart not having a great game. We'll have a look at the uh, stats in a minute. And a miss by Burns. It's gone out wide to Severino. And it's blocked. Gattasis gets it. Montondo tries to fire it forward for Leighton Stewart, but the highlight stays with them. And should have got that. Cut back inside. And the long ball here to Severino. And he's got the equaliser. That is going to be allowed as he's... The other thing I've noticed with Football Manager, and it might just be me, why is it when we get picked off like this, it's always the players, bearing in mind we're so deep into the season, it's the players' first goal of the season. Does he only ever score against us? Score against anybody else in the Premier League, but they score against us every single time. You watch at the bottom. If somebody scores against us, like in this case, it'll be a case of first goal of the season. It's rubbish. Right. We're going to berate the team because, once again, we have thrown this away. Not so late in the game that we can't get back in it. Blakesley is tired. 
I'm in the wrong screen to do that. So Blakesley is going to get replaced. Stewart's not having a good time up front. Uh, Blakesley can be replaced by Luke Thomas, I'm thinking. Or do we bring Zach Pike on out there? Let's bring on Luke Thomas. Um, We'll just do that change for now. And they have a corner now, which is a bit of a worry. Burns heads it clear. Gattis is going to get there. And we are on the counter-attack. Can we do anything with this? Gattis, he's got into the area. He's been tackled, but he's tied it up. Picked the ball up. Blakesley, who's been fouled. No penalty. And they come again, danger amounts, and the shot was poor at the end, thankfully. So they come rushing out, corner now, Thomas with the corner, an in curler. Gattisis will pick that up. Can he get back into the area and tidy this up? He can. He's taking a shot, oh, he's come off the post. There's a second shot there from Matondo, and it's gone out for a corner, finally. Well... That was quite a and headed clear. Carroll picks that up. Gattisis here. We'll see this from a slightly different angle. Gattisis comes inside to the area. He's cut that across. Leighton Stewart's headed it. It's hit the post. Montondo had a shot which was blocked and then uh, blocked again as it went out for a corner. Right, deep in their own half. And moving the ball around, back to the goalkeeper. That's cut out. Gattisis to Leighton Stewart, and Leighton Stewart's got that on the volley. We have got a noses in front again. His 10th goal of the season. And it was coming. It was coming. Who cut this out? Uh, I think it might have been Matondo, actually. It was Matondo. Gattisis heads it on for Leighton Stewart, who gets it on the volley. And for the second time this game, we've got ourselves in front. Leighton Stewart onside. All good. Now we need to just hold on to this. Severino needs to thing. Uh, Finley Burns is one yellow card away, we know. Right, we have tired legs now out there, so substitution-wise... Right, both our midfielders. We need to replace one of these... They've all be, both been playing similarly. I'm thinking of Flores for Haggy. And then what I might do is Luke Thomas can play on either side. So what I'm tempted to do is Luke Thomas over to the left and then Matondo off for Zach Pike. And Danger rules again. Well saved by Kovar this time. And uh, that's good news. But they have a corner. It's in danger's not away yet. Pike heads it clear. But only as far as Grant. And they are coming again. Severino gets it in. Gomez clears it. And I think that was it. Because, uh, right, we are going to...
Leighton Stewart comes, picks this ball up, headed clear. And Leighton Stewart's going on a run. Is he going to have a go? He is trying to put it wider, the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper making a decisive save. One of uh, Leighton Stewart's trademark shots. Haggy with the corner. And he's wasting a bit of time, as we've told them to. Gets that ball in. It's headed clear, though. Haggy will tidy up. And it's gone out for another corner. Burns with the header straight at the arms of the goalkeeper on this occasion. This was the breakout. Leighton Stewart getting out. And as you see, sizing himself up to put that just wide. He was going to curl that at the post, but uh, Dahlberg was equal to it. Right, 89 minutes. This is going to be the test. This is where we usually throw it away. Five minutes of injury time as well. Pike comes forward, gets it forward, looking for Gattasis. Didn't find him. Savarino wins the ball, and Grant is free over on this side. He's cut it inside, and Kovar has he saved again. He's having another one of his good games so far. Let's hope he can keep it up. Ball comes in. Pike heads it clear. Gattasis is not going to get there. But it's not come to anything. And uh, I think that was a combination of defender and goalkeeper actually saving that. Right. I am going to be very naughty now and drop a little bit of praise. Go to balanced. This is where we normally shoot ourselves in the foot. Not today, though. And a 2-1 win is what we've got. Uh, a good all-round performance. Gomez and Thomas picking up yellow cards towards the end there. But we'll take that. Well done, lads. That was a good win for us. Everybody's happy. Leighton Stewart having a good uh, better second half. Did well out there. Just Blakesley put in a good shift. Gattasis, he did very well. Montondo was tired. Kennedy Burns, outstretched arms. Very happy with your performance. And in the end, you got to say the same. Bukova. Uh, Luke Thomas, I think he influenced the game when he came on, but didn't do anything majorly, majorly uh, this time out. So we're not going to praise him too much. Uh, how much of a boost to Leighton Stewart's winning goal be uh, to this team? Um, moments like that often uh, prove pivotable. And how does that finish us up? So all things uh, Chelsea and Liverpool have games in hand, but uh, we are... 56 points as it currently stands. Some uh, 8 points for 7 points. 7 points behind Manchester City. We're not going to catch them, I don't think. Uh, but at the same point, we are now 14 points clear of Leicester, who have a game in hand. Two games in hand. I'll, I won't count that chicken then yet, because what I was about to say was um, that means that we're only one point away from being um, guaranteed a European spot. And actually... I think because Liverpool won the Caribou Cup, there is an extra a European spot. So it's gone down to seventh now because it's usually top four and then two going into the Europa Cup. Uh, but as it is, um, Everton uh, are in there now. So it's gone down to seventh. So uh, that's where we are. Sheffield United, Aston Villa and Watford all are looking to be in uh, the drop. I think Watford are gone. Well, they're not gone. But uh, they're not far off it. They're 11 points adrift. 15 left for them. Well, in fact, they've got one game more. So they've actually got 18 points. So yeah, could still do it. It's not mathematically out of the woods yet. Uh, Liverpool beating Arsenal. Seven goals to nil. Look at that. Arsenal just outside the relegation zone. This is bad news for Arsenal. Um, Brighton beating Newcastle 5-1. Uh, some big scores there um, going into that. Right. That leaves us with uh, coming back, as I see it, for the final two games of the season 
in episode 70. Um, so we will be playing Everton, Manchester United and Arsenal offline. We'll be coming back for two huge games, a home game against Chelsea, who are currently second. Currently second. And I think we'll finish second as well, pretty much. Um, give or take um, on the basis that um, Manchester United, I think, have pretty much won it now. They've sewn up um, in this uh, in the Premier League. Uh, and then a final game away at Aston Villa. So we'll see how that all pans out. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Keep you up to date with all future episodes of this and new series as they are released. New episodes are to be a legend are currently released every Monday and Thursday at 4.15pm. This is coming out on a Thursday. Hooray! And... We will be back on Monday for episode 70 for those final two games of the season, Chelsea and Aston Villa. And then next uh, Thursday will be our transfer special. And then we go into a brand new season. So join me for those. If you want to keep up to date what's happening with FM22 and the potential saves that we will have on FM22, I haven't finally decided yet, but I'm thinking about it. Um, then uh, follow me on Twitter, just offside too, because... Uh, realistically we are somewhere in the region of about two to three weeks away or I'm more like three weeks away from the beta uh, of FM22 coming out more uh, about the uh, um, the new features will be coming shortly and when they do we'll probably do a separate video about that as well thank you for watching hope uh, to see you on the next episode which will be episode 70 and it'll be out on Monday until then goodbye <laughs>